Hello, this is Bishop Shannon, and first things first, what I want to say is thank you. Thank you for your presence in your congregation and beyond, for standing up for the vision and the values of the gospel. Thank you for your financial support in your congregation and beyond, because as Jesus so pointedly remind us, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And thank you for your personal commitment to the gospel and to the church's witness to it in so many different ways. All of these things provide a tremendous impact across our diocese. We are, as a diocese, a vibrant, vital, urgently relevant, breathing reality for Jesus in this world, for Christ, for this time, for all time. Thank you and God bless you all. The Episcopal Diocese of Virginia is home to the ministries of over 80,000 members, 181 churches, six church schools, two retreat and conference centers, and nine summer camps. From Kilmarnock to Woodstock, Alexandria to Miller's Tavern to Harrisonburg, we are indeed connected in the kingdom. As St. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians, the mystical body of Jesus Christ is a unity of interdependent members. We depend on the presence of every member of our diocesan community. And we depend on the diversity of gifts that each member brings to reflect God's kingdom. Only when all of our unique gifts are offered do we journey forward together in transformational ministries. Through your support and through the abundant leadership of our many members, we connect people around the diocese and around the globe more deeply to each other and more deeply to God. For example, together in 2015, we connected over $600,000 in aid to our mission churches, allowing all areas of our diocese to receive the grace of God's word and sacraments. Over 80 short-term mission trips recorded through our Office of Mission and Outreach to ministries from Tappahannock to Tanzania. Over 1,400 people to diocesan workshops, dialogues, retreats, and special events and over 900 campers, staff, and volunteers to Shrymont camps, where on that mountain, they grow more deeply in their relationship with self, with others, and with God. It's no secret that in the Diocese of Virginia, I keep saying that my favorite parish is the parish that forms on that mountain for just a couple of months in the summer that's made up of about 85 of some of the most passionate Episcopalians I know who happen to be between the ages of, say, 18 and 28. And they give their summers summer after summer because they're so invested in this generous love of God and this theology of full inclusion. Aunque ninguno de estos ministerios serían posibles sin el apoyo de nuestras iglesias y de los parroquianos de toda la diócesis, tampoco serían posibles sin la presencia de nuestros funcionarios diocesanos. Dependemos de estos ministros tan dotados para apoyar a la iglesia en transición, facilitar foros, organizar retiros y ofrecer consultas para dirigir los campamentos de Shrinemont y los programas juveniles o simplemente para estar disponibles para conversar con ustedes. Sus preguntas y sus inquietudes alimentan la tarea de su equipo diocesano. En 1 Corinthians, St. Paul writes, to strive for the greater gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. Our ministries in the diocese serve only a narrow path through God's kingdom if they are not wholly supported by each church and each member. As you consider your commitments of work, wealth, and wisdom, do strive for the greater gifts so that the many neighbors and members of the Diocese of Virginia will walk a more excellent way together, connected in the kingdom. Connected in the kingdom. Conectados en el reino. Connected in the kingdom. Be of good courage. Never be afraid. For God who created you is always with you 
and loves you fiercely. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen.